here is the review of Siege Megatron. As you can see, he is a tank. And just like Warpath that I reviewed, he's another one of those H tanks. Because if I flip him over, you, you can see he resembles an H. but still a nice tank mode. But my only problem with him is that I wish they would fold in the back of his feet more because as you can see, they're, they're just sticking out on the back. And he does have some little plastic wheels on the bottom here that lets him roll. And the only features that he has in tank mode is that you can rotate the turret around. And he also has ports on the sides here. So that way you can plug in any of the battle masters. So, I think that's about it for tank mode. So, to transform him, first you want to remove the barrel here. And what, what you do with this is that you want to separate this in half, rotate these, so that they're like this, and then you want to take these here and rotate them 
around. And then you want to fold these up and these will tab in to these tabs here into these here with the painted in red here. And then he, you, you just tab in the blade here together. And that makes his sword. So now to begin the transformation. First, what you want to do is come to the bottom here and separate the back treads here and bring them down and these tabs is where these holes go into. Then you want to bring these down and to extend his knees you want to hold on the thigh here so that way you can rotate his, well, extend his knees down. Then you want to bring them out. Close these back up and bring his legs down. And for the feet here, you want to bring them up and then flip out the heels. until they tap into place. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Then you rotate his waist around and as for the treads here, first I will have to readjust my camera. For the treads here, which are the front ones, you want to untap them. And you also want to <clears throat> take the front treads and the front here and extend it out. So, so that it's like this. Then
then you want to flip this up and then you want to take this entire thing here and flip it back. And it, it is a little bit fiddly to do, but once you get the hang of it, you're, you're good. You just have to make sure these treads are not getting in your way when you're trying to fold this back. Now you want to take the front treads here and fold them in So that they're like this and as for this piece this is going to tab into these pegs and these holes here And for the turret here, you want to, well, you, you do want to separate it, but you can either separate it from this hole and this peg, or you can untap it using this hole and this peg. And the fusion cannon is a separate piece, so so you can either d display him without the fusion cannon. And for what, what will become his arms, these tabs are going to go in this hole here on both sides. And, and then you just take the back here and fold it all the way down until it's like this. And as for the arms, you want to fold these down, rotate his fusion cannon down, Flip out his hands then bring his head up and you're you're done.
and the robot mode looks really cool, but there is one problem I have with it, but we'll get to that in the articulation. But for the robot mode, it's very G1 accurate, but it is more of an updated version, but still looks very cool. And he does have some of that battle damage paint. And that is on his chest, a little bit on his, on his head, some on his arms, his legs, and also on here, which is on bo both sides. Oh, and he does have more of these holes here so that you can plug the ba battle masters onto these here. And he also has some silver paint from the insides of the front treads. And that that's about it for the robot mode. So for articulation, his head is on a ball joint. You can see right there. But th this is a problem that I have with the articulation, and that is that this piece here, I, I wish that there was something to tab this in. And that that's really the only problem, because... If you look inside, there's no nothing to hold his head in. But but that's the only problem I have with the with the articulation and for the robot mode. Arms can rotate, move in and out, bicep swivel, elbow, waist swivel, and you can move this out of the way.
legs can move forward, back, in and out, thigh swivel, knee, and that's it. Oh, oh, one more thing that he has is he does have ankle pivot, but you have to untap it from here so that way they can move. And he can hold his sword in both of his hands. Or if you don't want him holding the sword, you can store it on the back using these holes and this peg here. So, final thoughts, his tank mode does look great, but my only problem with him in tank mode is that I wish they would do something to hide his feet, because they're just hanging out on the back. And robot mode does look great, too, but I wish there was something to lock his head into place. So, he's still a great figure. There's just a couple of things that I have a problem with. And before I end this video, some of you may be wondering, where's part four of the GM Striker? I am still going to put out part four. I just have to finish painting him up because I'm still not finished. But when I'm finally finished, I will do the review of the final part of the GM Striker. So I think that's about it. So there you have it. Transformers Siege Megatron. And if you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.